Hi, my name's Joe Miller, and since graduating with a master's myself in 2020, I've helped hundreds of students secure positions at the best universities around the world. In this video, I'm going to give five quick tips on how to master your application for the MSc in Economics at LSE. My first tip is that you need to understand what this course entails. This is a rigorously academic course that is not a substitute for a business school course. If you're looking to study economics to launch your career into banking or consulting, this is not for you. The minimum entry requirements for this course are a first class economics degree, and it is critical that you have that. If you don't have an economics degree, then LSE offers a two year master's in economics course that is better suited to you. My second tip is that in your application, whether it be through your CV, your transcript, or even your statement of academic purpose, it is absolutely crucial that you highlight your quantitative skills. LSE is renowned for offering quantitative economics programs, and they state that they want to see advanced experience in calculus, linear algebra, econometrics, and then advanced micro and macroeconomics. You must do this on your application to stand a good chance. My third tip is that you need to emphasize research. Ultimately, this is a course that is designed to help students propel onto a PhD program or into a research position, whether it be for a government, an NGO, a think tank, or something of the like. Therefore, in your statement of academic purpose, integrate a research proposal. Tell them about the dissertation that you wrote in your undergraduate degree, or ideally a publication that you've done with a, re with a professor in your own time. This is the type of information they want to see. It is simply not good enough to talk about your work experience in the statement of academic purpose for this program. My fourth tip is that it's really important you understand the department at LSE. Who teaches within the Faculty of Economics? What are their research expertise? When you propose your research ideas, who's going to supervise you? Who's going to facilitate your research? Stating all of these things in that extra long statement of academic purpose is really, really important so that they can truly see your rationale and motivation for studying economics here rather than anywhere else. My fifth and final tip is for you to really really highlight your academic achievements on the statement of academic purpose. As I've said before, talking about your non-academic work experience is not what they're looking for. The professors who read this application want to see that you've published research, you've conducted lengthy research as part of a dissertation, you've perhaps shadowed a professor or been a research assistant yourself. If it's not too late, try and get involved in these types of initiatives at your university, university now to stand the best chance of getting onto this course. Thank you for watching this video. If you found the tips useful and would like to hear more from me or one of my colleagues, please do get in touch via the description box below. If you've enjoyed the video, of course, like and subscribe. And above all else, good luck with your applications.